One of the first things I got frustrated with on this 2018 Goldwing was how difficult it was to open this center pocket door. You had to kind of press it just right to get it to open. Well, I recently saw a video by Max McAllister on his YouTube channel, which you might want to check out, uh, on how to kind of fix that button, this switch, so that we can get the door to open a little bit easier. So today, I'm going to review Max's hack and see if it really does what he says it'll do. And we're going to talk about that coming up right now. Do you ever get frustrated trying to open that center pocket door on your 2018 or 2019 Goldwing? Well, we're going to test out a hack today to see if we can't solve that problem. Now, here are some tools I recommend you use. When you press the button on your center pocket door, you'll notice that two small posts extend from the underside of the door, and these operate the latch mechanism. Now, it's held in place by these two Phillips screws or JIS screws. We're going to remove these so that we can remove this button mechanism and make some modifications. You'll also notice a flat washer on these posts. It's always a good idea to lay a cloth down over an open area where you're going to be removing parts just so they don't fall and get lost down into the guts of your motorcycle. So put a cloth down and that should help mitigate that problem. It's also a good idea to magnetize the tip of your screwdriver. That's going to help it hang on to any screws or washers. We're going to start by removing the screw on the left side of the bike, as you can see here. And it might help to put a little pressure on the button from the other side just to get some bite on the screwdriver until you get the screw started coming out. And then you want to make sure you kind of hold your hand underneath the screw as it comes out. You don't want it to fall. And then just set that little screw and washer off to the side. Now we're ready to remove the screw on the right side of the bike. And it's important when you remove this screw to kind of keep your hand on the button uh, from behind because you don't want it to fall off. There are some parts that could fall off and kind of get lost. You can see here I'm carefully pulling the button out slowly because there's a couple of springs. And one of those little silver posts is also loose as well. Here you can see the button mechanism after it's been removed. You can see that little silver post on the right just slips off. And then you have these two springs that also come off. And basically what Max recommends is just removing that spring from the left side post. So we're just going to pull it off and set it off to the side for now. I wouldn't throw it away. You never know when you might need it. And we're just going to have that one spring in the center, and he claims that will balance things a little better. Now here I'm smearing just a little bit of silicone grease on these posts to help them slide a little easier, which Max also recommends. And then we're going to just reinsert the button, but just with that one spring in the center. Now when you reinsert the button, uh, I'm going to start by putting the screw back in on the left side first and get it uh, screwed down and tightened down. Now before I insert the right screw, I'm going to use another 4 millimeter washer and I'm going to add that to the washer that's already on there. I think you can even add two of these. I'm going to start with one just to see how it works. And I got these from Bolt Depot, but you can get a 4 millimeter washer at Ace Hardware just about anywhere. And I'm basically just, just going to add that washer on top of the other washer. And that will help that screw head kind of extend down a little further, hopefully, into the latch mechanism. Not exactly sure how that works, but this is what Max recommends, so I'm going to do it. And here you can see everything is working uh, in good fashion. Now let's give it a test. I'm going to close the door, press in the center, and it does open. Press it again, it opens. Now if you press it on the left side, it still doesn't open, but it didn't open before either. Uh, but if you press in the center on the right side, the door does open. So I'm going to consider this hack a good one. I think this is a successful hack. It's a pretty simple job, only takes about 5 or 10 minutes, and it's something you may want to try on your 2018 or 2019 Goldwing. 